Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on Forex trading. In today's tutorial, we will discuss in great detail the topic of short selling. Many traders, especially beginners on the Forex market, find short selling rather confusing. And that is why I will specifically try to walk in your shoes today and be as explicit as I can when talking about short selling. So let's jump straight into it. As we've already established, there are two types of traders on the Forex market. Bulls, traders who uh, invest into the growth of a Forex currency, and bears who invest into the decline of a Forex currency. So today we're talking about short selling and that is applicable to bears. Let's look at our Euro US dollar example in more detail. So here's a chart and how would a bearish type of trader profit from this downward trend? Well, there's a trend and a bearish trader would enter somewhere over there where the where we see the uh, X on the top left. He would sell at about uh, 1.3140. And as we recall, that means that every uh, one euro uh, is worth uh, 1.3140 US dollars. And then he would close the transaction at about uh, 1.2480, uh, meaning that uh, in that point in time, every euro is worth uh, only 1.2480 uh, US dollars. So as we did previously, let's simplify this example by talking about apples. And now let's look at the mechanics of how all of this comes together. Well, first of all, we don't have apples. We know that on our account we have American dollars, but we don't have apples. How can we sell something that we don't have? So how, how does that work? Well, this is why this transaction is called not just selling, but the proper name for it is short selling. It's because you are tr selling something that you don't actually own. And um, the way it works in the Forex market is uh, you as a trader, you approach your broker. And all of this is done automatically, so you don't have to think about it uh, at all. But um, this is what happens in the background when you click that sell button in your uh, trading platform. So uh, you as a broker, uh, you as a trader approach your broker and you borrow apples from your broker. So let's say, for instance, you borrowed 500 apples. You, um, the amount of apples you can borrow is um, underpinned by uh, the actual amount of money you have on your account because you have to guarantee that uh, you will return these apples no matter what. So you borrow 500 apples from your broker and you then take these apples to the Forex market and you sell them at $1.3140 per apple. And that gives you um, in return uh, 657 US dollars. So now you have that money and you decide to hold on to this 657 US dollars because you've predicted that the price of four apples will drop and you wait for that to happen as per our chart, which we looked at earlier. So once the price for apples drops and it hits about 1.2480 American dollars per apple, guess what? You still have those $657 that you got in exchange for your apples couple of days or weeks earlier. So what are you going to do with these $657 now? Well, you're going to go and you're going to buy back apples. Now with your $657, you can buy 526 apples. So um, as you remember, you still have to return 500 apples to your broker. And that's exactly what you do. You return 500 to the broker and that means you still still have 26 apples uh, of profit in your hands uh, because of this transaction, you're left with an extra 26 apples. And now what you do with these 26 apples is you convert them back into US dollars at the exchange rate at the time. And that basically means that now you have a profit of 32 US dollars. Now, if we replace apples with euros as we did previously, you will see that nothing changes. That this whole scheme works also for euros just as it did for apples. You go to your broker, you borrow 500 euros, 
you sell them at 1.31404, for uh, 657 US dollars, you hold on to your 657 US dollars until the price for euros drops. You use those 657 dollars to buy back euros at the new lower price of 1.2480. You get 526 euros in return. You um, return 500 euros to your broker. Your profit is 26 euros. Because your account is in US dollars, you convert your euros back into US dollars and you have 32 US dollars of profit. So that's in a nutshell how short selling works. You may find slightly varying explanations for the stock market and that's because you're dealing with um, uh, stocks and uh, ownership rights to uh, a company. But in the forex market, these are actual transactions with actual uh, money and this is how uh, short selling works on the forex market um, also as we discussed previously the uh, first transaction over there is called selling or um, it's short for short selling but uh, and everybody is so used to just saying selling on the forex market that they no longer use uh, the combination of where it's short selling so we'll just stick to selling from now on and uh, the last transaction over there is called closing so as you can see, it's not that complicated. The concept itself is a bit different to buying, but the Forex market has been around for so long and um, the procedures in place in any brokerage company are so standardized that you will not even see a difference. The mechanics are different, but the way you conduct a buy transaction is identical to the way you conduct a sell transaction. And the way these things work in the background, they don't even charge an extra commission for borrowing those 500 uh, euros. And finally, before we finish today's tutorial, I would like to point out that just as with buying, with selling, you can use leverage to achieve much better results from your trades. And this is something that we will discuss in the future tutorial when we talk more about leverage. And um, thank you for your attention. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy trading.